Wisdom begins with the fear of the Lord. <clears throat> Let's talk about piety and philosophy. And what Hermes would call true philosophy. True philosophy starts with uh, piety or like faith, I guess. And Hermes dives deep into this in the Hermetica and this quick clip describing it. Number four, be pious and religious, O my son, for he that doth so is the best and highest philosopher. And without philosophy, it is impossible ever to attain to the height and exactness of piety and religion. Philosophy is essentially uh, to understand the truth and the, the one true good. What is right? How do we act? How does one live? Right? And you can't understand shit about nature if you don't first... Uh, I guess if you don't come from the correct source, you can't understand shit about nature if you don't see the divine interlocking, interwoven complexities that are the creator. And in all the mystery teachings, venerance and piety come first, right? And philosophy is, is founded upon those. The Buddha or Hindu teachings taught about uh, basically, um, the knowledge of God through faith. The Hermetics and Gnostics would call this Gnosis, or spiritual knowing. The Kabbalists and ancient Hebrews would call this Doth, the heart that understands knowledge. Um, Buddha would call it intellectual in, uh, intuition, intellectual intuition. <laughs> And this can only occur, gnosis can only occur through the highest levels of philosophy built upon uh, profound piety, I guess, or profound connection to your creator and the venerance and worship in him, uh, this communion. It's super important. It's super important. Perhaps one of the, the most major staples in all the mystery teachings. Number five, but he then shall learn and study the things that are and how they are ordered and governed and by whom and for what cause or to what end will acknowledge thanks to the workman as to a good father, an excellent nurse and a faithful steward. And he that gives thanks shall be pious or religious. And he that is religious shall know both where the truth is and what it is. And learning that, he will be yet more and more religious. You see how piety or religious uh, nature rebounds and interacts uh, complement, like as a complement to philosophy. Philosophy and piety go hand in hand. Like the highest levels of, of I guess, philosophical insight I've ever reached came through divine revelation and then deep communion with the Father through feeling, through sense, and through like intele uh, the intellect and understanding. They all combine, right? The greatest philosopher is founded upon the most religious nature and they both uh, build each other. Because as you, like, philosophize in, in, the, in the way of true philosophy that Hermes teaches, that uh, King Solomon would teach, when you philosophize like this, you start to apprehend God. You start to understand and interact and feel the whole, be a part of it. The, the union of understanding and sense in, from the... Uh, corpus hermeticum so as you get closer and further see and like get insight and have profound revelations of god within you and all around you this grand story this odyssey in which you are on right as you see god throughout it and get closer to that inner spark your piety ever increases piety meaning 
you know, uh, God always in your mind, always seeing from a spiritual perspective. Philosophy begins with venerance and wonder, innocence, right? And seeing from a spiritual lens. That's where it begins. It says it in all the holy books. Plato and Aristotle would tell you that philosophy, philosophy begins at wonder. Wonder, venerance, worship of the creator. The highest levels of piety and priesthood combined with philosophy create the philosopher king. Create the high priest who is also the high philosopher who is also the high king. Hashtag Hermes Trice Magistus or Thrice Greatest. The greatest philosopher, the greatest priest, and the greatest king. You see how all these go together? And in the ancient mystery schools, in ancient Egypt, your status would rise through these, right? This is how kings and prophets were selected back in Atlantis days, if the old stories are, are true. So this is just a really important note that wisdom begins with the fear, fear of the Lord. Manly P. Hall would tell you that. Hermes Trismegistus would tell you that. The Bible would tell you that. Buddha, all the Hindu like uh, texts. My friends, this is such a grand theme, and this world is so fucking blind. All this intellect, all these all like intellectuals that are lost in the words, in the analysis, and these all these books of philosophy, right? Shit, I read, you know, the Book of the Dead. A.K.A. the book of Awakening Divinity Within. I read, you know, the Bible. Like, just sacred teachings from from Gnosticism and Samuel on War. What all these these sacred, profound books, right? From the, the Brotherhood and Temple Above. These books reveal so much more than any of these dense philosophical texts of these new age intellectuals who are so lost because all they can work with is darkness because they receive no divine illumination. Many people watching this probably have tapped into that, that divine insight, whether it be, you know, uh, chemically induced through like, like drugs of what psychedelic drugs or just through philosophy, through pondering nature, through sitting in communion with the soul and God. You, re- you tap into these states of consciousness where literally the universe is unlocked before your eyes. Grand mysteries are put together. This is Gnosis. This is what the Gnostic schools would teach, the Hermetic orders, the ancient Egyptian mystery schools, Thoth, Hermes, all of them. You see how this works. Piety and philosophy. Be pious, O oh, unto death, and ever seek wisdom, because wisdom is power and power is wisdom. Never stop seeking. This is a mortal truth. Perhaps you're catching this on Reality Files. Hit that like and share button. Shoot me a message. Support my Patreon. I'll catch you guys next time with some more, you know, esoteric mystery teachings. All shall be revealed. Peace.